Hello YouTube, welcome to Fix This Hammer channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to turn a fan into an AC. So it's very easy and simple and it doesn't cost much. So basically what we need a fan and we need a fountain pump like that 75 gallon per hour or you can use less no problem and what I like in this pump that it has a valve over here to control the water flow multi-purpose ties like that and two like this two three eight tubes like this flexible tubes and this part over here it came with the fountain and the copper tube quarter of an inch I'll, I'll be using this copper tube like this so bear with me and I'm gonna show you the steps so first what are we gonna do I'm gonna be removing the screen if you do not feel comfortable in doing it just keep it you can keep it but it's a lot easier for me if I would remove the screen so I'm gonna remove the four locks like that and there you go the screen is out and as you can see I can work comfortably and it's very important not to forget that this is our top side over here so basically the tubes they're gonna go like this okay so the next step is we're gonna place our tube like this the copper tube and we're gonna bring the multi-purpose tie and we're gonna simply start placing it like this so we're gonna start going all the way and what I like in this tube that it's very flexible and you can control it you can bend it exactly how you want Okay guys, so now this one is ready. What's left to do is we're going to put it back on the fan like this. We're going to make sure that it's in its place. And we're going to put back the locks. There you go that's how it looks like so now as you can see over here I'm gonna adjust the tubes like that and I'm gonna bend them like this like this so that's how it's supposed to look like and now I'm gonna attach the tubes right here like that so when I turn on the fan there's no vibration and we're not gonna hear any sound so okay guys so now what I need to do is to install my two plastic tubes the 38 plastic tubes okay guys now that I fight in here everything is good over here I plugged the fan and I want to make sure that when I turn it on there's no vibration so that's the first test perfect so there's no noise of any vibration and now what's left to do is I'm gonna plug my pump over here if you remember before I showed you that this connection it goes exactly over here like that and now I'm gonna make sure that it's open completely and we're almost done okay guys so this is the final step uh, now this is my cooler so if you can see over here I've attached the tubes at the same time when I've attached the tube to the pump as you see over here the return tube I didn't I had to cut it because I didn't want the return tube to go down with the pump so as you can see over here this is the return tube it's gonna be always like that 
And what I'm going to do, I'm going to attach everything here together because we don't want our tube, the return tube to come out, out of the, uh, the cooler and make a mess. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put it like that. And this way we are sure that it will not come out out of the cooler. So as you can see over here, the ice temperature is minus 14, minus 13 around. So that's exactly what we need. And now we're going to add the water. And we don't need more water than this. I've used like three point something liters. That's enough actually because it's, it's going to recycle its water. So as you can see, I've added another bag of ice. All that's left to do now is to close my cooler. And that's it. There you go. So now my ice is inside. My water is getting cooler now and now it's time to test the pump and make sure that it's pumping well and there's no leaks over here. Let's check it out. So it's pumping. So there you go guys, as you can see it's almost 10, between 10 and 11 degrees. This is really 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 cold and that proves that this system really works. It's amazing. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe on the Fix It Sam on One Word and we will see you next time.